Good morning, everyone. Afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, I hope everybody's having an amazing and blessed day. Uh, I'm sure you guys have been wondering what's going on with me. Uh, and that's what this video is all about. Uh, so, I don't want to make this video too terribly long, but I want to give, give you guys a scoop of what's been going on lately. Uh, as most of you may know, um, I did have to go back to the hospital um, about a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that. Um, due to the fact that the creatinine in my kidney was very, very high. Uh, and let me explain it like this. So when you have a kidney transplant, uh, there's a thing in your kidney levels called a creatinine. <clears throat> and that creatinine level is supposed to be around 1.2. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, the creatinine level is supposed to be around 1.2, right? Uh, the reason I had to go back to the hospital is because my creatinine level, even though they got the swelling off my body, uh, all the swelling was, was gone. Uh, you know, my feet are still swollen just a little bit and they still swell from time to time. But even though all the swelling was gone, they discharged me from the hospital last time. I had came home from the hospital from the last discharge. Um, and then my creatinine levels were extremely high. Um, uh, my creatinine level had actually climbed to 9.75, uh, which is like almost in re, uh, it's like past rejection level. Uh, so rejection level is like seven. Um, so they got me back to the hospital because my creatinine was so high. You guys know I was getting sick. I told you on a live stream or something like that, that I'd been sick where I thought it was a bug uh, that I had. It was not a bug. It was, it was just simply me, simply me being sick from the creatinine and my kidneys being so terribly high. Um, I was vomiting. Um, I had no energy, no strength. I was just sleeping all the time. Um, and so I went back to the hospital. Uh, and to make a long story short, we went in there, got admitted. We was there for, um, we was there for, I would say another week. And within that week's time, they did quite a few things. They ran a lot of tests on me. Um, the first, one of the main things they did was uh, because I have to be on dialysis now, um, which is not a big deal. You know, you got to roll with the changes. It is what it is. And, you know, God has his plans for everything. Uh, no matter what we go through in life, man, uh, you know, it's it's always for the glory of God. And it's always because it's a plan for him. You know, it's 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 not about us. It's, it's about God. And it's what he does for us. And um, it's always to glorify him in some way or another. So, no matter how bad you guys got it out there, just, just think about it like that because that's exactly how it is. Um, so one of the things they did in the hospital was they had to run a central line down the side of my neck. If most of you know what that is, it's a line that's about this long and they put it into the side of your neck. And if you guys will see here, uh, that's where they put it right there. This bandage is actually, is actually supposed to come off today, but they put it into the side of your neck and it goes down to your heart. And <clears throat> they were actually drawing blood. Uh, it had, I think it had three different uh, tubes on it and they were drawing blood from that, uh, you know, putting med medicine in my in my central line and all that. Uh, they also had an IV in my arm, hit me with a heparin drop. If you, don't, if you guys don't know what heparin is, a heparin is simply a blood thinner. But what that blood thinner does is it doesn't make your blood too thin, but it doesn't make it too thick either. And they had to hit me with heparin because they were doing this procedure. They, they didn't want me to bleed out. So they had me on a heparin drip the whole time. Um, for those out there who are EMS in real life, then you'll know what a heparin drip is. Uh, they had me on that the whole time I was in the hospital. Um, it was about an hour and a half procedure they did this. I was awake, uh, but they did numb me up pretty good and give me something to relax me. So I didn't really feel anything except for the pressure uh, of the wires being fed into my neck. Um, and then uh, a few days after that, uh, they had actually rerouted this <clears throat> down to my chest. So now I have a permanent dialysis tube right here in my chest. And I'll show you guys here uh, what it is. I'll show you where it is here. Um, this is the permanent dialysis uh, tube they have in my neck here. So if you see here, this is only had this one only has two tubes on it. Right here, as you guys can see, there's the there's the tubes. Um, for the dialysis and they can draw blood anything they need to from from these tubes right here So that's kind of like my permanent dialysis right there uh, But they actually rerouted this one down to my chest. So now I have a permanent dialysis uh, tube in my chest uh, And I have to go to dialysis on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays 
I believe my first appointment is today. I have to call my hospital and find out exactly um, where it's going to be at because they didn't leave, you know, they didn't give me no paper or information or anything on it. They just told me about it. But I do know my dialysis clinic is very close to where I live. It's not very far, maybe like a 20 minute drive. Uh, dialysis, they take you in there, they hook you up to this machine. And what it pretty much does is it takes your blood and it takes the toxins out of your body and it put, cleans your blood and puts your blood back into your body. Uh, because that's what my kidneys is failing to do. It's failing to put the toxins out of my body. So anything that I drink or eat that has any kind of toxins in it, um, you know, my body's not putting that out naturally. Uh, in other words, the kidneys are not filtering out the toxins out of my body when I urinate. So that's kind of why I have to have the dialysis. Um, I, and, and for this procedure down here, guys, for this uh, permanent dialysis tube right here, uh, they did have me kind of in a twilight sleep. Um, they put me down the table um, and uh, they hit me with two shots of fentanyl and I was in a pretty good day to say the least. Um, I was awake, but not really aware of what was going on. Um, I only felt the pressure of a couple of things that was going on. Other than that, it was a, it was a breeze. It's, you know, it's nothing, it was really nothing. You know, we have to go through pain and suffering in life. That's just the way, that's the way God, uh, you know, wants it to be. You know, if we didn't, if we didn't go through pain and suffering in life for some kind of suffering, then, uh, you know, we would live life in vain. That's not how it's supposed to be. And that's why Jesus died. Um, but with that being said, guys, I'm good. I'm healthy. I have a lot of energy now. I have a lot of strength. I'm back home. And uh, hopefully I don't have to go back to the hospital. Hopefully this is the last uh, this is the last trip to the hospital I have to go to. But if I have to go back, then I have to go back. That's just the way it is. That's the way God's got it planned. Um, with that said, everyone, that's that's pretty much it. I'm home. I'm healthy. I'm good. I'm sorry I didn't get to you guys sooner on the vlogs. I was just really sick in the hospital. I didn't really feel like talking into a camera. Um, I stayed in touch with uh, Jeffrey and John here and there. Not a lot, though. They'll even tell you that I, I was just kind of, you know, messaging them when I could. Um, of course, when I got to feeling better, I was messaging them a little more often. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I just, I have to be on dialysis now. And, you know, I just got to roll with the changes, man. It, it is what it is. Uh, they are weaning me off of my anti-rejection medications because... I no longer need those. So uh, going from taking about 19 pills a day uh, down to taking about, you know, seven pills a day. Uh, so I'm still like on my blood pressure medications. Um, I'm on, uh, you know, still on my blood thinners and stuff like that. Just no anti-rejections. Um, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to get you guys in the loop and let you guys know what was going on. Uh, I, I, I do sincerely apologize that I didn't get back to you guys sooner. Like I said, I was just really sick in the hospital. Uh, the first few days I was there, I, I did nothing but sleep. And um, and, and I, just, I just did not feel good at all. Um, but dialysis is a miracle worker. And, um, you know, from the first time they did my dialysis treatment at the hospital, uh, it, it was just, it was like night and day, man. Uh, they did dialysis treatment and, and I felt better immediately. So I'm excited to getting back to my daily life. I am excited about getting back to YouTube, but unfortunately, guys, I do have to take a break from YouTube for a while uh, again, and, and I don't want to have to do that, but I do. Um, I'll probably take a break until uh, Halloween season comes around, because you guys know on Halloween season, I like to decorate my background. I like to play a lot of scary games for you guys, um, and I like to dress up, you know, um, um, and makeup and stuff like that, you know, for the parts. So one of the games we're definitely going to be playing uh, this year for Halloween is going to be Outlast 3. Uh, Outlast Trials, the the, the, Outl the new Outlast game that come out because that's a game I've been waiting on for a long time. I watched Jeffrey and Jenny play it a little bit and it looks pretty dope. Uh, the graphics is pretty amazing. I didn't watch too much because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. Um, but we will be playing Outlast, guys. Um, and that might take up the whole Halloween season uh, because I heard that that game is uh, a pretty long, drawn-out game. But nonetheless, um, we're going to play some Halloween games coming up in the, in, the, in the Halloween season. As far as CJ Farms goes right now, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing over there because I do have to take a break from doing video content. Uh, but I will be breaking out some live streams. I'll probably be coming back on YouTube, like I said, around the Halloween season. Um, other than that, um, I just have to take it easy for a while, guys. And I hope that you all understand 
so there'll be no video content coming out for this channel or um, uh, CJ Farms or Vloggers Paradise uh, for a little bit. Uh, I am I am stoked about getting back into um, doing YouTube for you guys, and I'm very excited about getting out and playing some inner life golf because for Vloggers Paradise because. Uh, you know, the weather's perfect for it right now. It is a little chilly here in Tennessee, but for me right now, if I wasn't, you know, this thing is still a little bit tender. It was just done a few days ago. So I am still a little bit tender from that. Um, but if it wasn't for that, guys, I, I'd be out playing golf today because it's perfect weather for it. And for those who don't know about Vloggers Paradise, my third channel, I'll, uh, I'll pin it in the comments for you guys. So Y'all can go subscribe to me over there. I'd appreciate it. We're at like 45 subscribers over there, I think. Um, I, I haven't told you guys, very many of you about it yet, but I'm going to start uh, promoting that channel over here uh, so you guys can check me out over there. There's there's videos up already of me over there playing some real, real life golf. I've got, um, I think I've got three videos up over there of me playing some real life golf, and I've got another uh, few videos over there of me building my backyard golf green. Uh, but with that said, everyone, have an amazing day. And uh, remember, guys, uh, you know, no matter what you're going through in life, man, somebody's always got it worse. Uh, the things I see in the hospital, uh, the people I seen that were going through this and that would just put chills up your spine. It's, it's, it's very humbling. It's very heartbreaking at the same time to see that. But it makes you realize how lucky you are. Um, even though um, even though my kidney's not working the way it's supposed to be, I'm alive. I'm well. Um, I might have a permanent dialysis tube here in my chest, but guys, I'm here, and uh, and, and I'm I'm very very blessed. I'm I'm very thankful to God uh, in heaven that that I am alive and I'm healthy, and I'm here talking with you guys because it was very close, guys. It was a very close call. Um, you know, had I not went to the hospital uh, sooner, the doctors told me um, I was on the verge of dying. So. Um, uh, but that's that's it, guys and girls. Um, God bless you all, man. And uh, just remember, guys, life is precious. It's it's very very precious. Um, it's a very delicate situation. Um, and just take care of yourself, guys. You got to go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Trust it. Trust that from coming from someone who is a very stubborn human being, and uh, who didn't go to the doctor like they should have, and uh, which is why I am where I am now. Um, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do to go back and change time. Uh, all I can do is go ahead in the future and, and make sure that um, I'm going to my doctor's appointments and my dialysis clinic and taking care of myself. Guys, take care of yourself out there. Go to your doctor's appointments. It's very important. Your health is always first. Um, and just take care of yourselves, man. It's so important. Life is so short and it's so precious. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you all so much. God bless you all. Have an amazing day. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, everyone.